See, even he said it. City Hall, 7.03 p.m. Even he said it was the smart choice. So, if Bruce says it's the right choice, then it's the right choice. I am smart. No, I'm not. That's a lie. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Your mouth isn't uh, moving. The mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. Will you help me out? Uh, I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows? Maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. Bruce Wayne? Uh. Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. You look Your like father shit. And I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. Boop. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Yeah. Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. I don't want to do that. That's fucked up. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a help a two-face. This guy's a dickhead. He sold me out. This guy's a fuckface. I mean, Dent is fucking Two-Face. <laughs> Why? Why give me this? I have Connor, like little ghost Connor. He keeps falling over because he's a little fucking piece of shit. Man, I'm not going to get monetized for this video. Damn. I don't want to back a fucking thing, man. I don't want to hurt a Two-Face, and I don't want this fuck. This is like fucking Trump and Hillary. This is both bads. The two face fucking Hillary and then fucking Dick face McGee Trump here. No! Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. I would never stoop so low. My backbone doesn't have the bend. Let me put it this way. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. I try. 
tried to warn him. I tried to warn him. That guy has his gun now. What the hell is that? Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Welcome to my back cave, which I also call my ass. <laughs> Where is he? I, I like messing around. I got a lot of fucking like little action figures around here and shit. I wonder what else is on here. Oh God forbid! Slaying a cow nudes. I mean, I'd be. As fine. per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. Yeah, thank you, Alfred. You're a good friend. Peep, peep, tree, you know it's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. You got it. Because I'm a smart butt. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I gave you quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. Yeah, whatever. To hear their crimes detailed. First by a Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. He was a good you person. are your own man. He was a good and guy. And the city needs you. Now more than ever. And that's the hero of this city. I thought he was going to say something. I'll uh, leave you to it then. Not the hero of this city was. And the hero of this city deserves. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Uh. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff uh. and making ad buys. A dead spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic uh, perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. And in other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out. But police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into the I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't there. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. That was fast. That was really fast. Away I go. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hello? Harvey? Two faces after us. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's. Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Why? why what happened? Are you alright? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you mean because of this penguin threat? They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. You're picking up with me? Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. Ouch, Harvey. Talk about a sucker punch. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. Thanks. I love you too. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Well, Whatever it 
it takes to save Gotham. That's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Well, to politicians. Gotham. I'm Am sorry, I right? Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. Uh, you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. Oh, you're so fucking happy. You're so fucking nice. Fucking Billy Bob to Jim George, alright? All fucking straight brawl on fucking. Oh god, that was great. What are you gonna do there? Shame enough? Huh? Fucking gotcha. Oh!